Welcome to the Built to Scale series, Outside Marketing, bringing you quick, actionable episodes to help move your business forward. Here's your host, Craig Severinsen. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 29 of Outside Marketing. I am Craig Severinsen, and this is the show where we talk about how you can grow a thriving business without sacrificing your personal life. And today, we're talking about the top three traits of high growth entrepreneurs. I'm really excited to share these with you. They're great. Uh, you know, I don't know if they're skills or traits, a little bit of both, but when you really develop these traits for yourself, you will see your business and your life begin to change. So I'm super excited to share them with you. If you're enjoying this content, as always, check out built to scale hq.com that is where you can listen to the whole podcast the built to scale show and you can also find out how you can work with me to implement the right frameworks and systems in your business to grow faster than you think possible without sacrificing your personal life right like having a thriving business that supports your life not a life that supports a business that's the opposite of what we want and i find it interesting you know we were talking uh, i was talking yesterday with a uh, colleague about um uber successful companies, right? And we were just kind of like comparing and contrasting uh, different pathways to growth. And uh, he was saying that uh, someone made a enemy out of Gary Vaynerchuk. And they're like, you know, Gary, love him or hate him. Like he's such a, he's got such great stuff. Like how can you, how can you make him your enemy? And uh, I, I kind of agree with that because um, I love his stuff. But at the same time, and I wouldn't make an enemy out of Gary Vaynerchuk, but I would make an enemy out of the hustle culture mentality, you know, of like the only way to win is by hustle, hustle, hustle. But this is the thing. Like you look at Gary and you look at what he talks about and he offers a pathway to freedom, a pathway to control of your life, a pathway to success. And it is very much a, this is how you do it. You get your hands dirty, you get in the trenches, you make it happen and you work, 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 and you get that reward. And that really appeals to some people, right? Versus me, I offer the same thing, like a pathway to success, a pathway to freedom, but mine is put the right foundation and right systems in place to have a balanced life and a balanced business and be uber successful while also being able to enjoy your life right now. That appeals to another type of person. So just, I don't know what, what got me into this <laughs> right now. It was on my mind. I was thinking about it. I think the idea here is like knowing your audience and really leaning into what is your positioning in the marketplace that differentiates you from your competitors. Because when you've got that differentiation, then you stop having competition. Like I'm a lot smaller than Gary Vaynerchuk, right? And his business model is different, but let's say we were offering the same thing. I couldn't go head to head with him. I couldn't compete, right? He's got the following, he's got the audience, he's got the, he's got uh, the money. Like the, you can't compete with that, right? But if I look at that and say, well, you know, even if we had the same vehicle, the same offer, right? You say, actually, you know what? I don't offer the same thing. I offer something different. And that's just your positioning in the marketplace, then suddenly you're not competition anymore because now it's a do I like this path or do I like this path? It's not about, you know, they offer the same thing, who's better, right? It becomes differentiation, different, right? Sometimes being better is not the key, being different is the key. So in my case, you know, I sell a framework, a business framework, and support to business owners around that framework to grow their business, right? So how are you going to grow your business if you work with me? Where you're going to come, you're going to get your foundation in place, those three foundational pieces of your audience, your offer, and your, and your, and your niche, what I say? Audience, so your niche, your offer, and your positioning in the marketplace. And then we're going to get the six systems for scaling business in place so that your business can grow beyond you and you can still have a personal life. So you have thriving business without sacrificing your personal life, right? So now it becomes not a who's better, it becomes a which pathway do I like, right? Uh, that was a side tangent to what I really wanted to talk about today. Uh, glad I went down it though. You know, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. That could have been an episode, and maybe I'll do an episode on that uh, on on its own, right? Because really, we're talking about positioning in your offer. What, where are you different, and how do you stand apart from your competition? How do you create your own category within your category so that people look at your service and your business and say, "Well, 
it's different, right? Why should I buy this person's product versus their competitor's product? Well, it's different. It's not the same, right? That's really what positioning is. And positioning is a lot less of sometimes, sometimes things like this, especially like when you're trying to raise your rates in your offer, it's about how you present thing, things. And positioning is a little bit of that, a little bit of um, just what you say and how you present it. But it's also a way of viewing and running your business, right? Like your positioning is deeper than just, oh yeah, I'm different. And then you're really not. It's I'm different. And then you act differently because of that positioning. Does that make sense? So um, let's get to, <laughs> let's move on from that and go to the three traits of high growth entrepreneurs. And there's three that I really want to point out. And these are the people that I have seen, you know, my clients, myself, um, colleagues, that when they're in the zone, like their business is on fire, they are doubling, tripling, 10xing their rates and their sales and their revenue is really, really growing. Like their business seems to be on fire. These are the three things that I see common to everyone in those situations. So number one, confidence, 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 confidence that you know your value and that you know your audience. And so when you get on the phone or when you do marketing or when you start reaching people, you have 100% confidence that your offer is for them is going to get them where they want to go, right? And then so it's, it's confidence of, in your value, confidence of who you're talking to that you can help them. And then you follow that up with action, right? You follow that up with action. Here's, here's a fun fact for you. Right. Sometimes if you're struggling, it's because you just haven't gotten good enough at what you do. That's not true of everybody, but especially if you're newer to the entrepreneurial world, you got to get better at what you do. And if you're not newer in the entrepreneurial world, you know that in order for you to stay competitive, you have to constantly be improving, especially if you're in the digital marketing space. Right. Because this stuff changes all the time. So you've got to be constantly learning and improving. So you've got to have confidence in what you're doing and then back that up with action, actually getting results and improving your services day after day after day, month after month after month, right? In my world, that is your client success system, right? How do you get results for your clients and systemize that? And then how do you improve that system year after year after year, right? Okay, so that's number one is confidence, extreme confidence even. Number two, extreme responsibility. Taking 100% responsibility for your actions. So I do coaching and consulting, and I have seen two types of clients come into my world. One is the client that thinks that I am going to solve all of their problems. Those clients will get results for a season, for a moment, because they're getting the external motivation that they need. They do actions, they harvest the low-hanging fruit, and then long-term, they stop doing the actions that they need to do because either they stopped working with me or it was never internalized. And so they got comfortable. Right. And so for a season, they get results and then it stops, tapers off. And then you've got the second type, which is they're, they're more rare, but they're the type of entrepreneur who comes into the relationship and understands that they are the expert of their business. They are responsible for their business. And I am acting as a guide and a mentor to help with one particular part of their business to accelerate that, to explode it, right? Those people come in and they, they say, I have everything I need to grow a business. You have something I need to grow this particular part. They get success long-term because it is not about external motivation. It's not about external triggers. It's about them. They understand they have everything they need, right? And they leverage good mentorship and good training and good frameworks in order to accelerate their business. So you've got to take extreme responsibility for your own success. Even if the results, you know, even if someone lets you down, you know, I've been in relationships with vendors, right? Um, here, here's a good example. I paid somebody for, for marketing work and they totally flaked on me, took my money, ran away, right? Now I could, I could whine and moan about that situation or I could, and I did pursue them. Like don't, that not whining and moaning, taking responsibility does not mean being a pushover, right? So I, I did pursue them, but instead of whining and moaning, be like, oh, I never get what I want. You know, I took that as a lesson and said, okay, 
I need to vet my vendors better. I need to vet the people I'm paying better. And I need to make sure that they're going to deliver before I pay them, right? So now that doesn't mean I don't pay people up front because I do, especially there's a lot of trust. I'll pay, you know, my video guys get, gets paid up front all the time, right? My branding person gets paid up front all the time because I trust them, right? But it doesn't mean before I pull the trigger, I'm going to get on a call with them. I'm going to double check my, 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 my stuff, right? I'm going to make sure I trust them before I purchase. So uh, anyways, I'm getting on a tangent again. The whole point is even when a situation is outside of your control, you may not be responsible for what happened, but you're responsible for how you respond to it. That's the difference, right? Right? Are you a victim to circumstance or are you taking responsibility for the results? The first type of person will get results for a season. The second type of person will get results for a lifetime, right? Okay. And then the third one. So first was extreme confidence. Second was extreme responsibility. Third one was vision, 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 knowing where you want to take yourself, where you want to take your business, where you want to take your clients. The one for your clients is the one that is probably most impactful. You know, if we go back to the beginning here, this will all tie it together. If we go back to the beginning, we're talking about, you know, the vision difference between Barry Gator Chuck and his hustle culture and me and my balanced culture, right? That is the vision that will resonate with your clients. Most of us do not have a vision for the industry or clients that we're working with. We have a vision for what we want to do, what we want to build our business to, and we know what results we want to provide. But what do you want to accomplish in the marketplace? For me, I want to see thousands, millions, every single entrepreneur who is out there be able to benefit from the freedoms that a business provides. We all quit our jobs. We all went into entrepreneurship for the same reason, freedom, freedom of time, freedom of money, freedom of impact. And I want to see every entrepreneur take advantage of that because too many times we get into business and we get lost in that business. We forget that we did this so that we could go on vacation, so that we could spend time doing things we love with the people we love, and we become slaves to our business. I envision a different world for all of my clients that they can have a thriving business that makes them as much money as they want, that runs on autopilot, that supports them in doing the things they love to travel, to go on adventures, to do whatever it is they want to do, right? That's my vision for the industry. And so having that vision drives me forward, right? So what is your vision for not just you and your team? but for your industry and for your clients. Those three things, when you combine them, confidence, extreme responsibility, and vision, boom, that creates the perfect storm for you to go and tackle the marketplace and just take it, you know, take it by storm. I just use storm, you know, as an analogy and as, you know, the the last sentence there. So uh, this is live video, guys. This is live content. What do you expect from me? I'm not going to say everything perfect every time. All right. That's what I got for you. It's pouring rain. Um, today was a cardio day and I didn't want to run out in the rain. So I switched it up today. I did the crisscross instead. So I was sitting here with my kettlebell, ugh, lifting weights and running around <laughs> with the rain pouring down, but it is gorgeous. I mean, look at this. A week ago on these videos, this was all brown. Today, we got flowers, we got greenery, we got birds chirping. It's gorgeous. Spring has sprung. Nature's changing. It's a great time for you to look at your business and say what needs to change as well. If you want, if you want help building a different business, getting a change in your business, implementing a framework that you can look at, you can start to manage, you can start to really see growth in your business, let's talk. Go to builtoscalehq.com. Check, check it out. Contact me. Reach out to me on LinkedIn or Facebook. And let's get you inside the Built to Scale program and start implementing those frameworks and systems so that you can have that thriving business without sacrificing your personal life. All right, guys. Until next time, take some fast focus in perfect action. I believe in you. I got your back. We'll talk soon. See ya. Thanks for joining us. To check out all the Built to Scale episodes and to see how Craig can help you in your business, go to builttoscalehq.com.